So we finally inch up this way, and we're up there by that White House with the steps, and that's when the officer comes to my door and says, are you going to leave or am I going to have to arrest you? It's a brand new day, but the events of last night are still fresh on Christy Puckett Williams' mind. There's people in front of us, press in front of us, and protesters. The police are behind us. There's nowhere to go. For the ninth straight night, Christy and others from the Elizabeth City community were out protesting peacefully. And I say, we're leaving. Yes, we're leaving. And he says, arrest them both. And he has grabbed me and pulls me out of the car. Getting arrested wasn't part of Christie's plan for coming here. She says she traveled to Elizabeth City from Charlotte to help be a resource to this community. They don't know about flashbangs and tear gas. They don't know about chemical ir irritants and how, if you are exposed to those irritants, how to, um, you know, take care of yourself. They have none of that. And so that's the type of information and services that we provide while we're here. I was down there at that. Christy has been working alongside Andrea Hudson, the director of the state's first community bail fund. I think people should be able to protest, especially if they're protesting peacefully. They should be able to protest without being arrested just for being in a space. Their goal is to bail out as many protesters as possible. When we came in, they told us we don't want violence. We don't want, we just want answers. With everything going on, Christy says leaving isn't an option right now because she believes this is where she needs to be. We will leave the same way we came, under our own agency. Because we still